And the other day in one of our Zoom classes, uh, one of the participants asked me how she can get better at push-ups. What are some specific things that she can do to help her progress? And I've helped many of my clients progress to full toe push-ups safely and effectively in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. Um, this particular client is in her 70s and we have been working on some drills and different techniques in class that I'm going to share with you. Okay, now push-ups I'd classify as an advanced exercise. So you need to be really strong in your planks. Um, planks are a prerequisite. Make sure that you're doing those and feeling good about it, not having any pain before you progress, progress to the push-up. Make sure your doctor's fine with it, your physical therapist, anybody that you might be working with. Okay, so the short answer to how you can get better at your push-ups is like anything. You want to offer yourself a lot of different variety of challenge. So I'm going to give you a variety of those challenges and the things that you need for this workout today. You need a mat. I have an extra one for, for extra padding on my knees. You need an elevated surface. That could be your couch, bed, a bench like I have on my porch. And we're going to be doing some light dumbbell exercises. I'm going to be using a set of eight pound dumbbells. Just simple to get your upper body warmed up. So let's start. Okay, so come down onto your mat, please. I'm going to place the knees on this extra padding. And the first thing we're going to do here is hold a knee plank. So on your knees, nice and strong, hands right underneath your shoulders. Okay, everybody finding their position. From here, let's take our hands a little bit wider. So just walk your hands out a little bit wider. Hold it there, see what that feels like. And now we're going to put a little bend in the, in the elbow doing a knee push up and back up. Okay, let's drop back into a child's pose. Stretch out your shoulders in front of you. And then we're gonna come on to the side in a side bridge. You can place your elbows on that extra padding if you need it. Body is in alignment with the front of your mat. We're gonna lift up here and hold it up there. Okay, take your fingertips now and reach them down to the floor in front of you with a straight arm and back up. If it doesn't make you dizzy, you can follow your fingertips with your eyes. Oh, it's sunny. We're going to do this two more times, lifting here from the underside of the bridge. And one more time. And back down. Good. Okay, let's do that on the other We're side. Flipping around, making sure that your elbow is right underneath your armpit here. Nice and tall, lifting through the underside of the bridge here. Take your fingertips down to the floor and back up four more times. And five, good. Okay, drop down and release. Can you hear those carpenter bees? Carpenter bees are so annoying. <laughs> My dad created this invention to try and trap them. It doesn't work. Sorry, dad, that, that, that invention didn't work. This one is called superhero to plank. Looks like this, I'll give you a couple of demos. We're gonna lift in a superhero back extension and then lower, draw your hands in and push yourself up either into a tall plank or into an elbow plank. Okay, I'm gonna do three of them in elbow plank. So superhero, draw your arms in, forearm plank. There's one, superhero, forearm plank. There's two, three, Four, and one more, and five. Okay, drop down, let's stretch here, 
and Okay, this is called a walking plank and we're gonna walk down onto the forearms and then back up onto tall. I'm leading here on that right arm. Just watch my arm there close to the camera. It's coming down and it's pushing up. And then I'm gonna do that leading on the left arm. So now coming down on the left arm, pushing up on the left arm, two more. And up, and one more time, down, and up. Okay, that's a great drill for push-ups because that extension as we push ourselves up is, is gonna really strengthen your triceps and get you ready for those push-ups. Try those again, second set. You can either do these from your knees like we just did, or you can really challenge yourselves by coming up onto your toes for this. Up on the toes, I'm gonna to go wide feet. So check out my feet, they're super, super wide. I'm gonna walk down onto the forearms and up onto the tall arms. This is very advanced. And if you wanna stay down on your knees for the second set here, please do so. Switch out your lead arm and do three on the other arm. Two, one more time. Very challenging. And three, good. Okay, drop down to your knees now. Coming onto your forearms, hold it here nice and strong for 20 more seconds. Again, these planks are prerequisites for the push-ups. Push-ups are moving planks. So you've gotta be really strong and confident and know that your plank is okay before you go to a push-up. Three, two, one, drop down, stretch it out. We're gonna pick up our eight, I'm gonna pick up my eight pound dumbbells. Here's anything three to eight pounds, whatever you feel is right for you. For 10, nine, just making sure our arms are ready for the push-ups that we're gonna do. One more time. Adjust your weights here. If you need lighter weights, grab those now. We're doing overhead presses. One. Two more, Nine. and 10. Okay, and halos. And really, if you have a heavier weight, you could go with one heavier weight. Call it a halo. Oh. I'm gonna put one weight in between the hands here. We're gonna take it from the chest up to the forehead, around the halo, back down, other direction. There's two, we're gonna do 10 of these. Seven, three more. And ten. And I'm gonna be using this incline bench on my porch here. And I'm going to do eight push-ups at a time on this first round, give or take. When I started doing push-ups 10 years ago, I was doing three at a time. So just start somewhere. And I'm gonna do eight incline push-ups. So again, a bed, a staircase, a sofa, all those things work great. Inhaling down, exhaling up. I have a push-up tutorial in the content library, so check that out for some form specifics. 
three, four, four more. And eight. Okay, walk your feet in, bending your knees, rolling up, shake out your shoulders. I'm gonna come back down onto the mat, placing the knees on some padding, and I'm gonna do eight knee push ups. Okay, all right, you're with me, and eight. Doesn't matter how low you go, just work within your own range of motion. Stretch it out. And we're gonna do one more of each. I'm gonna do eight more up here and then eight more down here, back up onto the incline. Make sure your arms are ready and recovered before you start your next set. Not fully recovered, but you know, ready to go. Give them a little recharge and then start again. Four, four more. Two, three, and four. And onto the mat. Eight push-ups on the knees. And eight. Okay, so I just, we already did 32 push-ups. Let's continue with couple of drills I want to show you to increase your range of motion and increase your confidence. It's going to look like this. So let me give you a demonstration. We're going to be up on the toes and I want you to bend your elbows just to where you feel like you're still in control and then drop your knees and back up and back up. I'm going to show you that a little faster. I'm going to bend the elbows, drop to the knees and push up and up. Okay, so if you wanna start with me, you're gonna come into your push-up position, hands right underneath the shoulders, bend your elbows, drop to your knees, and push up and up. There's one. Bending down, catching yourself onto the knees. Two. Three. Four. And five. Ooh. Next up, we're gonna basically do the opposite of what we just did. Recover there, stretch and hydrate. I'll give you a demonstration. On this one, you're gonna start on your knees, lower down, and then pop up into a full toe push-up. Okay, come back onto your knees, lower down on your knees, and then worm your way up. I kind of think of like that 80s break dance move, like break dancing when you're worming. So we're gonna, I'll tell you to worm your way up on this one. Okay, on your knees, lowering down, inhaling, exhaling up, back down onto the knees, lower down, come up. So it's like you're simulating that push up on your toes and helping yourself up. Try that two more times. Down on the knees, pushing up onto the toes. One more time down on the knees and pushing up onto the toes. Nice, okay, great job. Okay, roll that out. We just did, I don't know, probably close to 50 push-ups there. So in addition to all the other exercises, and that'll be good. I hope this is helpful. Give it a try and, and let me know how it feels for you. Let me know if you're progressing and um, you can do push-ups. I've seen so many people learn to do push-ups, seriously, into their 60s and 70s, and you can too. Reach out if I can give you some extra help and I'll talk to you soon. Great job.